stay close. This is it. We're almost... It's just around the corner. She does not look Azadi. Like that matters. You can't tell and you can't trust anyone. Let's get rid of her. Bryn? All I'm saying is let's not take any chances. She might have a tracking spell on her for all we know. I would have detected it. There's something peculiar about her, but no magic. Peculiar? What did I tell you? She's a spy, all right? Come on, let's get rid of her. Quiet. I'll speak with her. Alone. What? Why? Bryn, don't make me lose my patience with you. You need to trust me. But... I... Bryn, come. Now. Fine. Fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. So, why are you asking questions about me? Where am I? Who are you? I'm asking the questions here. Wait, you're April, aren't you? I recognize you from the picture. What? What picture? A picture of you and your friends. Charlie and Emma. I was in your old room at the Victor... in the border house in Newport. Charlie told me about you. That you disappeared and that... Whoa, slow down, slow down. You know Charlie and Emma? How's that even... How are they doing? I only just met them. At the Fringe. Back in... Uh, back in my world. Stark. I'm guessing you're not a spy. I don't even know how I got here. Last thing I remember, I was at the fringe. I was going upstairs to make a call, and then... black. When I woke up, I was in this strange place. A subterranean city. And there were these... Uh, these creatures. I had to fight them. Except it's no dream. I know the feeling. When I first came here... I refused to believe what my eyes and ears were telling me. But you learn to accept the truth. You have to. You're a shifter. You've traveled through the divide between worlds. You're in Arcadia. A shifter? That's what Ben Rime... It'll take too long to explain. You're special. How's that? You can travel between worlds. Travel? So how do I get back to our world? Your world, not mine. You just... do it. Once you learn how, it's like blinking with your mind. But I can't even remember how I got here in the first place. First couple of times, it's hard. It's easier when you're asleep. I wasn't sleeping. At least, I don't think I was. It's fuzzy. I'm sure you'll figure it out. What's your name? Zoe. Look, Zoe, I'd let you go, but I don't want you walking around out there asking questions, drawing attention to yourself. We'll have to put you somewhere... safe. Until you can find your way back to Stark. No. No, I'm here now, and I need your help. What? Why? Something's happening back in the real world. In my world. And I think you're connected to it somehow. I've been... receiving this strange message. Like a... I don't know. I keep seeing a snowy landscape with a scary black house that looks like a doll's house and a little girl. Find April Ryan, she says. Save her. Over and over again. Receiving? How? Through... No. No, on screens. It's like... like some kind of static interference. What does it mean? Don't ask me. I don't need saving. You've got the wrong woman. I don't think so. This girl, she led me to your room where I found the picture. It can't be a coincidence. It can't? You're sure about that? Look, Stark's not my world anymore. You've got problems, you figure them out. That's what I had to do. But I'll help you get back. It's either that, or we lock you up somewhere until you figure out how to use your powers. And what do I tell your friends? Tell them whatever you want. The April Ryan they knew is dead. 
I'm not part of their world anymore. So you're not going to help me? You're not curious to find out why I keep getting these messages about you? What if something big is going down and... Like I said, not my problem. I've played my part. Just leave me alone. Now, do you want to go back or not? I do. Of course I do. Good. Like I said, if this doesn't work, we'll have to make other arrangements. We're going to put you under hypnosis and unlock the part of your subconscious that controls your shifting powers. Lie down on that bed, and I'll be right back. What are you going to do? There's a part of you that knows how to travel. I will help you remember what you have not yet learned. And I'll end up back in Newport. Can't guarantee you that. You might end up somewhere else. Just try and focus on a familiar place. A safe place. So you're not going to help me? You don't need my help. Lie still. What's she talking about? Something's going on back in our world. A good friend of mine's disappeared and... And you need to not talk. Or would you rather have me lock you up? And I think April can help me find out what's happened to him and why. So why won't you? Because I have enough trouble in my life already. Because I'm fighting a war and be- Now this is your final chance. Close your eyes. Breathe slowly. Don't speak. Listen to Naane's voice. Nea, Amam, Ayan An. Listen to my voice. Let it carry you into yourself, into the secret places in your mind. Ane An, Ayan An, A Ayan An. I don't feel a thing. What's this supposed to... Uh, what just happened? I do not know, April Ann. She did not open a shift. And her clothes... They're still here. Where did she go? I do not know. I have never seen anything like it. It is almost as though she was smoke blown away by a wind. Is she dead? I cannot say. I do not feel her here. In this world. But I will say this. I do not think this girl is a shifter. Then what is she? And where did she go?
not bad, Kian. You did well out there today. Thank you, Master, but your praise shames me. The light of the goddess blinds my opponents and guides my sword to victory. Your skill with the sword is unmatched, Kian, and so is your faith, but the one does not equate with the other. What do you mean, Master? Your devotion to your faith and your prow- How can that be? I hold my sword in the name of my faith, and my faith is the shield that protects me from harm. They are like two rings intertwined. Or like a pair of snakes eating each other's tails. Don't be blinded by rhetoric, Kian. I've taught you better than that. But the mission, Garmon. Politics! When did you become a woman? Your dedication to the mission is a waste of your potential and your time. With great talent comes great responsibility. You could be a powerful man, Kian. Instead, you've chosen life as a puppet. A puppet! Well, you've never approved of my calling. But I have pledged my life to the goddess and I have vowed to protect her word. The word of the goddess does not require your protection, and you have pledged your life to the Six, not the goddess. Don't confuse the two. On this we will never see eye to eye, Master. I am an apostle of the faith, and I have... A thousand pardons, Apostle. Excuse me, Master. Yes, Chilena. The Six require your presence, Apostle. When? My apologies, Apostle. They said to bring you immediately. Thank you. Master, forgive me. Of course, Kian. You're excused. We will continue practice without you. Amanon! Nozan! Into the ring! And try not to swing your swords like shy little schoolgirls this time around! Please, Apostle, we must hurry. You look like two lovers out for a stroll in the moonlight! Fight! Don't dance! Follow me, Apostle. They are waiting, Apostle. Apologies for calling you away while you were training. We know that you are busy with the initiates, but this could not wait. We have just had word from our armies in the east, and it worries us deeply. Our dearest Apostle, we have a very important task for you. Yes, Mistress. Apostle, you know how some Eastlanders still resist our noble efforts at uniting their fractured nations and bringing the word to their goddessless lives. The mission continues unabated, of course. Nothing shall stand between the glory of the goddess and those lost ones who have strayed from her light. But still there are a few who have chosen to oppose us. Those misguided pagans have become a dangerous obstacle in the path. Apostle Kian, we need you to travel east to those heathen lands, to bring the word to the heretics. There is a man who leads these rebellious few, these insurgents. A man whose hands are soiled with the blood of many trueborn. A Deoman. You must travel tonight to the Havens, Apostle, and board a cloud ship bound for the city of Mercuria. When you reach your destination, you will seek out this man, this... this butcher. They call him the Scorpion. By the letting of his blood, he shall be reborn into the next life, where he may find forgiveness in the glory of the Goddess. Find this rebel leader this scorpion and let your blade kiss his throat this is your mission Kian Alvane as you please mistress your word is my path you will leave now with haste may the goddess be with you apostle and mind the scorpion does not sting you before you sting him I shall be vigilant mistress blessed be the goddess blessed be the path blessed be the word blessed be the mission Can we trust him? If not him, then who? He is our most faithful apostle. He knows not to question our word. He will complete his mission. The prophet was adamant. There is much resting on this task. It is the last obstacle, the prophet said. When it is done... The light of the goddess will wash across the world like a tidal wave. 
drowning all those who lack faith. May that day come swiftly, and may the goddess aid the apostle in his mission. The future of our empire rests on his shoulders now. When the day comes, you have to fight a real enemy. May the goddess take your soul swiftly. I am being sent to the Havens tonight, Master. With haste. I see. Another heathen who needs converting. We cannot make the sun rise in the dead of night, Kian. Like everyone else, we must wait for dawn. Must we have this discussion again, Master? It seems to me you question everything I believe in. And is it not a place full of darkness and sin? Would it not be better off under the guiding light of our faith and the mercy of the goddess? What would you have me answer? There is indeed arrogance, oppression, murder and fear in those lands. And the brightest... I must depart now, Master. The cloud ship leaves the havens at first light and my duty beckons. Duty or no duty? Do only what you yourself believe to be right, and not what others tell you is right. I'll see you when you get back. You can tell me all about the Eastlanders, and how you rescued their maidens from a life of sin. May you walk with the goddess. And the light of the goddess upon you, Master Garmon. You all right, girl? Where... Where am I? You're still at the Friends. You don't remember? I don't know. I... Uh, how did I get back here? Back? You haven't moved all night. A couple of guests found you passed out. You were drugged. What? That's what it looks like. I checked the cameras, but there was nothing on them. The crystals were wiped. When we found you last night, I called a friend of mine, a doctor. She came by and checked you out. She said you were on some kind of synth, but that you'd sleep it off. So I closed the room and kept an eye on you all night. That's not possible. I was somewhere else. April, she... What? I met... Zoe, look, I've been checking in on you every 15 minutes all night long. You couldn't have gone anywhere without me noticing. You were fed some kind of hallucinogenic. You've probably been having very vivid dreams. That's impossible. I was there. I spoke with April. She was... She wasn't very cooperative. But I did speak with her. All I know is that you've been sleeping right here since we found you. You left Emma and me at the table to make a call. 20 minutes later, some guests found you passed out in the booth. They gave up their reservation quite willingly. They didn't want to get involved. Sorry about that. Sorry? Girl, it's not your fault that someone drugged you. But you might want to consider getting out of this before you get hurt. I can't just abandon Reza. I'm sure he doesn't want you to put yourself at risk like this. Did you see whoever did this to me? You don't remember anything? No. Last night's a blur. The first thing I remember is waking up in... No, I don't remember anything from the Fringe. I didn't see anyone, but apparently our friend Marcus Crozier checked in just before the incident, and he brought two guests. Wait, I remember... Twins? They're working together. They were in Reza's apartment back in Casablanca, and... So they must have been the ones who drugged you. Maybe. But I don't understand why they didn't just... kill me. I mean, that's the second time they've attacked me. And I'm still walking. If there's one thing I've learned, it's not to look a gift horse in the mouth. You're alive. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should just go home while I'm still... After all, Mark has turned out to be a big mistake on my part. And if Rez has gotten himself into something really dangerous... Besides, I don't know where to go from here. 
I might as well head back to Casablanca and wait for Reza to get in touch with me. That sounds like a good idea, girl. How do you feel? A bit woozy. But pretty good, considering. Did Emma leave already? Early this morning. She has a show later today in Moscow. I promised I'd keep her updated. So what are you going to tell her? I don't know. It felt real enough. I don't know. I guess I will go home. I don't feel like crossing paths with Marcus or the twins again. They were probably just trying to scare you. Yeah. Ow. You okay, Zoe? Just my head. You can stay here as long as you need to. No. I should go home. Thanks, Charlie. I really appreciate it. No problem, girl. I will, Charlie. Thanks for everything. Hola, sweetie. It's me. Where are you? Hi, Liv. Yes, you're going to Japan. Japan? I decrypted Reza's notes. Well, most of them. Okay, some of them. I'm still working on it, but I found out that he was investigating Watty Corp. Watty Corp? Really? My God, that's... that's pretty huge. What was he investigating? Don't know yet, sweetie. But from his notes, my guess is that after leaving Newport, he would be heading to Wati City on the island of Hokkaido in northern Japan. That's where Wati Corp HQ is located. That's also everything I've got so far, I'm afraid. I'll keep working on Reza's notes, and I'll have more info for you when you get there. You mean Japan? You know, I'd try and convince you not to go, but you seemed pretty set on tracking Reza down, and all signs point to Japan. Is everything all right, Zoe? Yes and no. Things have happened. Oh, I don't have time to get into it right now. But it'll make a hell of a story someday. As long as you're okay, sweetie. Like I said, I'll keep working on the notepad and I'll call you when you get to Wati City. Safe journey. All right, Liv. Take care. So tell me about the tower. It is as most things, Azadi. Large, wasteful, and arrogant. I have never seen its like. They are building a ladder to the heavens. Maybe it's a temple of sorts. I may not know a lot about the enemy, but they're pretty religious. To call the Azadi religious would be like calling the sun warm. Their faith is all they have. If we shake that, the war is ours. I don't think that's a viable strategy, Chuan. But it's good to know that they have a weakness. Faith is a double-edged sword. This tower of theirs may be another weakness. When I was there earlier, I noticed they were still building. They have put up wooden platforms for the workers to climb. Scaffolds. Next to the tower? On the tower. If one were to climb it, one might find a way into the tower. Perfect. I need to check it out for myself. That tower must be very important to the Azadi. And like you said, it could be another weakness of theirs. You will go alone. I need to. If there are more of us, it... We are easier to spot. And if you are caught, someone still needs to return to the city with the supplies. That is our mission. That's our mission, Chuan. I'll be back before dawn. Watch your back, Raven. We have to travel light, and we have to stay... If there's one thing we haven't... So, what are we doing tonight? We are not doing anything. What? 
You can't go on a mission without us. I'm not going on a mission, Bryn. I'm... Right. And that girl didn't ask you for help. The one who disappeared. The one from Star... From that place that we can't talk about. Bryn, you don't understand. That girl Zoe, she was asking for the impossible. I left her world behind a decade ago. There are other matters to attend to. Trust me, it's not impossible. I don't agree. If you hadn't risked your life to save mine, I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be fighting on your side, and there'd be a lot more Azadi walking around. You took a chance when you killed those soldiers back then, and it paid off, didn't it? It's not the same thing. This is our world. Whatever goes on in the other world, it doesn't concern us. I think you're wrong, but it doesn't matter what I think. Bryn. Bryn! <sighs> Will you need any assistance tonight, April on? I'll go alone. That is true, and I need to speak with someone who can supply us with the herbs. Well, with Torbear in jail and Hamish doing business with the Azadi, old towns are best... Tomorrow morning, then. First thing. Sounds good. So be it. I shall make inquiries in old town in the morning. May the stars shine on you and... Break a leg. But I like may the stars shine on you better, Na'ane. I wish I could just sit down, gaze into the fire, and forget. You can't come through here. There's a curfew. The ghetto will reopen in the morning. I don't know what these machines do. That gate is firmly locked at night. No one gets in, and absolutely no one. I don't know what these machines do. Heat houses, flush toilets, generate power, but they're becoming ubiquitous. What are you doing out at this hour, citizen? Return to your home and go to bed. There's no one getting in or out of the ghetto. The taverns and
The guards are a bit more vigilant at night. I should stay away from them. Halt, citizen. This area is closed. Please leave immediately. I will not warn you a second time. Get out of here. The curfew begins at midnight. Make certain you're home by then. Where are you going? Business. Well, you know where the key is, Ape. Keep an eye on Bryn. Make sure he doesn't follow me. That boy. He takes after you, April. Responsibility? You saved his life. You may seek danger. Even death. You're... They should find someone else to rely on. I... You have little faith in yourself and others, Chuck. Good luck tonight. Whatever it is you're doing. Apples. Apples. Maybe we should bring a couple of barrels back to the swamplands. I think I shouldn't waste my time anymore. Benrimi's burned all the forbidden books, and she's bought a bunch of Azadi-approved ones. No one reads those. If there's one thing we have enough of, it's weapon. Watch your back, Raven. This is one of the few places left that looks exactly like it did before the Azadi. It's a bit quiet these days, but Benrimi still serves the best food and drink in town. No question. The ambience here in the journeyman sure has changed since my last visit to the city.